hello students so they will be doing a electronic system graded assignment for week 1 so the question says a 1.2 volt battery has a rating of 3000 milliampere r the battery is connected to a device with a load of resistance of 200 ohm with the above data kindly answer the below question number 11 and 12 how much current in milliampere flows in the circuit to find the current flowing in the circuit we can use ohm's law which says current in ampere equal to voltage in volts divided by resistance in ohm current equal to 1.2 volts which is the battery divided by 200 ohms which will be equal to 0 0.006 ampere now it's asking the uh, current in milliampere to convert it we have to multiply it by 1000 so multiplying it with 1000 we get answer as 6 milliampere so the second question says estimate how long in hours this battery can sustain this charge to estimate how long the battery can sustain this charge we can use batteries rating in milliamperes r time in r equal to capacity in milliampere r divided by current in milliampere time equal to 3000 milliampere divided by 6 milliampere equal to 500 hours so this will be the answer for this question next question so the question says i am using my Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro and the capacity is given as 5020 milliampere hour for live streaming of a certain event wherein camera is actively recording the event screen is on for the display microprocessor and other ICs are active for the communication purpose the event lasts for an half an hour assuming the mobile has 60% of the charge at the start of the event so we have to calculate the 60% of 5020 milliampere. Following are the values for the current of each component draw. Camera 342 milliampere. Display 196 milliampere. Microprocessor and other ICs 227 milliampere. How much charge in milliampere hour is drawn from that? Total current draws will be addition of all the all three of this. 342 plus 196 plus 229 equal to 765 milliampere. Now we are asked the milliampere hour, not the milliampere. So it says the event lasts for half an hour. So we have to multiply it with half. Since we are keeping SI units, which is which is R, so the answer will be 382.5 milliampere hour. Second question says what percentage of charge will be left after uh, after the streaming of the event so we have to answer this in percentage for example the battery charge was 60 percent at the start now after the streaming we have to calculate the percentage of battery left so 60 percent of the total capacity which is 5020 milliampere is equal to 3012 milliampere hour charge left after 382.5 milliampere is drawn so we have to minus this which is 2629.5 milliampere hour total percentage charge left after streaming so this was the total uh, and this is left now so you have to multiply it by 100 to get the value as 52.38 percent now the third question what is the maximum duration in hours of the event that is sustain sustainable by this battery to calculate that Time in R equal to capacity in milliampere R divided by current in milliampere. So 3012 milliampere R, which is the current capacity of the battery, divided by 765 milliampere, which is the current drawn, equal to 3.9 hours. So the battery can sustain maximum of 3.9 hours. Next question. A 3.7 volt 1100 milliampere Nokia battery and a 3.7 volt 
1560 milli ampere iphone 5s battery both are charged from 40% to 50% by the same charger for for subscriber the same charger find out the model it takes more time to charge nokia or iphone So the battery of iPhone eh, has more capacity, and the battery of Nokia has very has less capacity, and they are ch uh, getting charged from the same charger. So it's a common sense that iPhone will take more time to charge. So the correct answer would be iPhone. In the next question, if the charging time for Nokia is T1 and the and that of iPhone is T2, find the ratio of T1 and T2. So we are asked the ratio. So we have to just divide capacity of Nokia battery with the capacity of iPhone battery. So the answer would be 0.705. Next question: A flash of lightning carries 8 c of charge, which flows for 0.02 second. So this is the charge, and this is the time. Calculate the current in the lightning bolt. To calculate the current in the lightning bolt, we use can use Ohm's law, which says current in amperes equal to charge in coulomb divided by time. Current equal to eight c divided by zero point zero two seconds. So the current will be four m four hundred amperes. Next question. If the voltage is 10 megavolt. This a capital M V stands for megavolts. Calculate the energy in megajoules transferred between the cloud and the ground. To calculate this, the energy transferred between cloud and ground, we can use the formula: energy in joules equal to voltage multiplied by charge in coulombs. So energy equal to this much of the volts. Because since it is given in megavolts, we have to con convert it in the volts, multiplied by the eight coulomb, which is the charge. So energy will will be this much. Now we are asked to answer in the megajoules. To convert this, we have to divide it, and thus we get the answer as eighty megajoules. So here we come. With the end of the session, so dear learners, join the channel, the 119th plan only by click clicking the join button after subscribing to the channel. To see the remaining part of the graded assignment video, please note IITM student community has launched IITM BS in ES qualifier coaching at just 799. See you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.